I lost the race. I hope you have better luck. Jason, P.S. Right? And let me know. Oh, Miss T.R.U., do I could you help me write to him? Sure, his address is right here. We can do it after Sunday school this week. Ben put his new shoes back on and tied the lace tightly. Thank you, Miss T.R.U. do I, he exclaimed, and thank you, Jesus, he said, as he ran faster than he than ever down the highway. The race. We never seen such beautiful white shoes, Ben's friend said. Ben felt shy and did not know what to say. The shoes were be become be beginning to hurt his feet. I wish they would let me run barefooted, he thought. But the rules stated everyone must wear shoes. The race would not begin until af the afternoon. But Ben could not think of anything else. His feet felt hot inside the new leather shoe. Finally, it was time for lunch. Ben took cold, T-O-R-T-I-L-L-A-S, out of his sack and went outside with the other children. He sat on the stone while by himself in the sun. Two girls came over and sat on the wall. When he looked up, they smiled at him. Well, hope you won today, Ben, one of them said. He felt his face turning red. Thank you, he said, looking down at his shoes now i just have to win he thought after lunch all the students walked one mile to the sports center the six boys who were going to race in the video walked together with their coach ben wanted to run but the coach told him to save his energy soon they arrived at the center inside was a man selling tortillas from a cart another man was selling pop. I guess like soda. He poured the drink into a plastic bag and then placed a straw in the bag. Ben had never seen so many people. The whole town must be here, he said to his coach. Children were yelling, go team, win. Ben felt dizzy. He had a funny feeling in his stomach. Too many people were there to watch him. Too many people wanted him to win. I can't do it, he thought. Look at the dust track, said one of the runners on his team. Yeah, you'll have to stay in front of the other so you don't eat their dust, said another. Then remember to learn why lean way out when I heard you the baton. Be ready to go, said his teammate. Slapping him on the back, Ben swallowed hard. He would let the others down if he did not run. Okay, he said softly. Well, I can't hear you, said the boy. Are you sick, Ben? You don't look so good. Just then, the coach yelled, Ben, come. See that tall kid over there in the red shirt? We'll race against him. His name is R-U-B-E-M. Who comes out here with his father every day after school and runs this track. The two of you will run the long race around the track together, Coach said. But don't let that bother you. You're fast. You always try hard. I know you can do it, Ben. But Coach, um, the boys were already lining up for the relay. What else could he do? He got in place and waited to grab the B-A-T-O-M. I call her stick. When it was his turn, Ben flew like the wind. His teammates came in second place. The school received a brass trophy. Everyone cheered. Good job, good job, said the coach. Now Ben, you can win the blue ribbon for us in the next race. Me, the blue ribbon? Ben was not convinced. Now his stomach was really turning upside down. He couldn't do it. Coach, I I can't. But the coach could not hear him above the noise. Ben sat down and tightened his lace. I'm scared, Jesus, he prayed. The missionary said you will always be with me. Chase one with me. The coach put his hand on Ben's shoulder. Go for it, he said. A gift from Ben. Jason's ankle had healed. 
He was not upset anymore. In fact, he had almost forgotten about his shoes. It was a sunny Saturday morning. Jason, you have a letter, Mom said. It's from G-U-A-T-E-M-A-L-E. -E. We don't know anyone in G-U-A-T-E-M-A-L-E, -E, do we? No, well, maybe. Jason remembered the letter in his shoe. He tore open the envelope as he dashed up into his room. Dear Jason, thank you for the shoes. I think Jesus wanted us to send them. Wanted you to send them. I'm sorry you didn't win your race, but your shoes won. I want you to see this blue ribbon. Your shoes and I took first place in my school's long race. Then, Jason remembered how angry he had been about the shoes. He remembered how surprised he was when his dad told him to send them to G U A. T-E-M-A-L-E. -E. Now he was so glad that he had given his good shoes to someone who needed them. He had held up the brew of it and looked at it. He knew how much it meant to Ben. A boy so much like himself. He could not read the Spanish words on the ribbon, but the big gold one at the top told the story. Jason carefully pinned the gift at the top of his bulletin board. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to guess the story. Do 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 Did you guess the blue ribbon shoes by Barbara Yuri? On the back it says, oh no, he exclaimed, the soles of the shoes had dried and broken off. Ben ran faster and faster. He thought of Jesus and his loved ones for everyone. We will always have problems, Miss T-R-U-D-Y had said, but Jesus will always be there. Ben felt as if he were flying as his bare feet pounded the dust. If only my shoes had lasted just one more day. We tried to play, but no words came. Tears flowed from his eyes. All readers, children's missions. William Tyler. Hmm. The Blue Ribbon Shoes by Barbara Yore, U Y O U R E E. Beacon Hill Press of Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, 2017.